Now we're talking with Anne Fleming. She's the president of uh, WomanDrivers.com, and uh, they uh, just released uh, the new uh, 2015 U.S. Women's Cars Dealership Report. How are you, Anne? I'm great, Javier. How are you? Yeah, very good. Thank you. Uh, thank you for uh, spending some time with us uh, to talk about this uh, topic, which I think is really interesting because it's always something that there's a lot of uh, theories about it, right? Well, right. Yeah, and really, it's a pleasure to be on your program. And, you know, women are such a powerful buying segment, uh, you know, uh, of cars and at, 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 at car dealerships. So it's always a juicy conversation to have. So thanks for so much for having me on the program. So can uh, so can you tell us a little bit about uh, the, uh, the the methodology about the the study? Uh, what what specific things are, were you looking for when you started doing this? Well, actually, so um, the Women Drivers is uh, we're actually the premier car dealer review company, and we we focus on women and helping them locate certified women car dealer uh, uh, dealerships in the United States. So women come to our website and they write a uh, five-question review about their dealership, whether it's shopping, purchasing, or when they come into the service drive to get service done on their on their car. Now, when they're done with that five-question re review, they hit submit. There is a pop-up that immediately comes up and says, "Thank you so much for your for your review. Will you please?" Um, take a optional survey and provide us more insight into your experience at our dealership. Nine out of ten women nationally write and and and, and participate in this 25 question uh, survey. Whether again it's for shopping, purchasing, or for service. So we uh, each year we take all the reviews for all the dealerships and we roll it up into the brand or the U.S dealership report that we're going to talk about today. So we've got about 3,450 reviews and that's where, that's that's the report that we're going to, that's we're going to be talking about. Yeah. That's how we get the data that, we, that we're going to be discussing. So it's pretty detailed data. I mean, if you said like 90% of the, of the women participating uh, uh, agree to go deeper so it's really really valuable data so you mentioned a uh, woman certified dealerships is the, what, what's exactly that sure great so uh dealerships that participate in our program you know they're they recognize that you know today women are responsible for buying 13 million 13 million cars that's new and used vehicles at new car dealerships alone That's either 35, 36,000 cars a day. And so dealerships know that, you know, in the past, maybe they didn't always have the red carpet rolled out for, for women. And so they recognize that women are such a, now close to 53% of all car buyers are women. And so they're looking for new ways to market to this powerful buying segment. And, you know, just coming on the TV and talking about the best, we've got the best car prices, we've got the best best car prices, that's kind of getting old. How does one, how does a consumer distinguish between one Chevrolet dealership saying we've got the best car prices and another saying they've got the best. So, you know, dealerships are looking for new ways to market and they recognize like, no kidding, it's really a new day and they're looking for new ways to really distinguish their dealership from others in their respective cities. And that's where, you know, our, our business being able to certify a dealership based upon their consumers' reviews of them uh, really is a, a very a very perfect model for the dealerships, but also for consumers because women rely on car dealer reviews about 50% more than men. Yeah. You know, they want to get it, they want to get it right, right? When they go into the dealership and they make this this, this big purchase, you know, they don't want to get it wrong. So they really rely on car dealership reviews very, very heavily. And so that's why, that's really the what's in it for car dealerships and the what's in it for, for women. Yeah. So and the dealerships also are very interested, I guess, into... Uh, eliminating that uh, perception that they, they take advantage of a uh, quote-unquote lack of uh, knowledge about cars, right? So, uh, yeah, and, you know, Javier, I think those days are, you know, 
the things that kind of uh, uh, are shifting, you know, we all don't know about electricity, but we have electricity in our house, right? Yeah. So, uh, you know, it, it, women and consumers in general, especially now, uh, you know, vehicles, cars are, are really computers on wheels. Most people, whether it's men or, or women, you know, the, the, the important thing is that we have a license and we properly know how to drive the, 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 the car. It's not so much that we know how to... And that we that we can properly negotiate and, and, and buy the car. So I, I think you know the days of you know that that that's really you know a couple decades ago. Yeah. Um, but but really smart and progressive dealerships are looking for ways to um, embrace, to educate, and to engage this this audience. And you know it, it's new for them. I mean, when I say new, it's really over the past five, ten, fifteen years um, that that they are really working on such a large, large consumer base that is predominantly women or, of course, women making so many of the um, decisions for, 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 for the family. And, yeah. Uh, that's really what, what's new. So just engaging with them and engaging consistently, like each and every time, um, because here's one thing that your listeners may or may not know, some of the data that we do capture um, is, is very prevalent. When six, six out of ten women, when they go into shop for a car, they're just maybe looking, six out of ten of them will leave and not return to that dealership if they do not have, you know, a, a good a, a good experience. Yeah. So dealerships really need to get that first point of engagement, that first hello, that first minute. Uh, you know, when we're all making, you know, we're all human beings. And we all make exactly. decisions and judgments about each other in a very quick, quick time frame. And for women, it's being able to trust and being being respected. Those are the two things that she formulates very quickly in a very short amount of time. And if those two things do not arrive immediately, mm-hmm. she's gone They're and gone. she will not return. Interesting. So, and uh, let's talk about the results of the study for this year, please. I mean, what came up uh, number one? Well, there's lots of things that came up. I think, uh, um, you know, again, we, we really have this segmented by shopping, by purchasing, and uh, by, by, by purchase, uh, but, and then again by, uh, excuse me, by servicing, purchasing, and by shopping. So, uh, one of the things that's really interesting when looking at, uh, when we start to look at this at the brand level, at the brand level, yeah. the, n- the number one, um, I'm just going to give your listeners the top five brands uh, as rated by women. Number one is Mercedes-Benz, number two is Lincoln, number three is Dodge, number four is Jeep, and number five is Chrysler. Now... What's very interesting is, number one, people might say, oh, well, Mercedes-Benz, well, I would expect that. Okay, great. They're a luxury car brand, and of course, they're, you know, the experience that they offer their clients when they come into the store is, is, is a very wonderful experience. But I think what would surprise some of their listeners, Javier, is that, is that number three, four, and five, Dodge, Jeep, and Chrysler. Those are all Chrysler brands. Yeah, and performance-oriented uh, brands, actually. Dodge and Jeep, at least, right? Exactly, exactly. Um, you know, so I think that's really kudos to, you know, whatever training or whatever processes each one of those brands, which all falls under the Chrysler or now the Fiat, you know, umbrella have, is their level of engagement, you know, with women at the purchase at the purchase point is very, very high. And then to round out the, the remaining top 10, Volkswagen is number six, Lexus is seven, Chevrolet is eight, Ford is number nine, and Volvo is 10. So again, these are rated at the dealership level. And then what we do is we take all that information at the end of the year and we bring it up and we roll it up at a national brand level. Wow. So that's, that's, that's purchasing, for example. That's uh, very interesting. And, and uh, so uh, can you tell us about what brands uh, have the most work to do <laughs> in this respect? <laughs> well, uh, yes, you can. Uh, let's take a look, for example, at shopping. We just I just mentioned that when uh, women go into shop for a vehicle, if she does not have a very good experience, uh, you know, she's not going to come back. Now, what we do here is we list the top 15 brands. Yeah. So you can imagine there's some brand, you know, there's what, 34 car brands, yeah. right? 
So there's some brands that aren't even on this list. So I'm, I'm, I'm probably not going to, I mean, you have to go through this, but there's some brands that are on the cusp. Some of the brands that are on the cusp might surprise your listeners. Um, Mazda, Kia, Lexus, Dodge. What that means is that women are having okay experiences when they go in and shop. Uh, they're having average experiences. Uh, some of the brands that ha- where women have exceptional shopping experiences, meaning she may go in to test drive, she may go in to ask questions, but she's actually not purchasing that very day, but she's writing a review about her experience. Yeah. The top, the top number one brand is Volkswagen. Number two is Ford. Number three is Chevrolet. Number four is Jeep. And number five is Buick. Hyundai comes in at number six. So again, shopping is a very different experience than, uh, than, 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 than buying, but shopping is so critical because if she goes in, and has a great experience that day, she's, she's going to go back to that dealer, that very same dealership and buy her car. Excellent. Chances are very, very high she'll go back to that dealership. Well, very interesting. Anne Fleming, she's the president at uh, womansdrivers.com. Uh, Thank you very much for your time, Anne. And uh, we're running out of town, unfortunately, here. Can you tell us the website? Uh, is that right? Like womansdrivers.com for the full report and more information? Yes, it's actually women-drivers.com. Dot com. So there's a dash, women-drivers.com. You can contact us, and we're happy to send out that report. Excellent. Thank you very much, and I and, uh, hope to talk to you soon again. Thank you so much for having me on the program. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.